Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're going to recreate a makeup look from my 90s style inspo Pinterest board. The makeup look that I'm recreating today is this super simple, very, very neutral look on Nev Campbell. And I had pinned this because I really love this soft, smoky eye, but it's it's very soft and it's this neutral brown shade that I just think is really flattering. Everything worked out perfectly. The stars aligned because lo and behold, Mac sent me this PR package. I have not received PR from Mac in literally years. So this arrived. I was surprised, pleasantly surprised, that the shades seem perfect for this makeup look that I had just pinned literally a day or two before this MAC box arrived. So I want to explore this MAC trend box and try to use the products inside that I just showed you to recreate the cute little, very, very neutral makeup look. I'm not doing a lot of color on the face because it seems like the face was very, very neutral skin focused. Certainly the makeup artists will have better insight than me, but on these pictures, it looks like it's just foundation, concealer, blush. I'm sure she's probably contoured and powdered and perfected for a professional photo shoot, but I am doing the real life version. So I'm just going to apply a very small amount of the About Face, the Performer Foundation, and a little bit of this L'Oreal True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. This is my dream team combo. This is what gives me really bare skin looking makeup. I know that that's, that's kind of an oxymoron. I don't really love the idea of no makeup makeup. It's makeup. I'm wearing makeup. My skin doesn't look like this. But I, I guess what I'm getting at is it's a very natural look. It's a very toned down look. It's not full coverage, full glam type of base, which, you know, uh, it takes all kinds. I like all kinds of makeup, but this is really what I like to wear, what I feel comfortable wearing. I'm going to try my best to remember to list the brushes that I used as well. A couple people recently have requested that I mention the brushes, so I will try to list which brushes I'm using in the description box alongside the products and the shades and all of that good stuff. I am going to add a little bit of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. This is a baked setting powder or face powder, I guess, and it just keeps that shine that I'm getting from my more moisturizing base products, but it does give me a fully set down base. And I think that it's it's what the makeup look from the picture seems like it would be. Then I'm just using a little bit of this ColourPop Super Shock blush. This is called Between the Sheets. I think they might have discontinued this color, which is very upsetting because I love this color. As you could probably tell when you saw, I have a huge exposed pan in this blush because I use it all the time. But I think to recreate the vibes of this look, I need to go really toned down on the face makeup and put a lot of my focus towards the eyes. So I'm just doing a little bit of Glossier Boy Brow to set and tint my brows, but I'm not going to do much to fill them in, reshape or anything like that. We're just, we're keeping the natural brow look as usual. Now to work on the eyes, I'm doing sort of a different technique from what I typically do. I am going to go ahead and put down my Ulta Matte Eye Primer as my base, but I'm going to start with the eyeliner. This is the MAC Eye Coal in the shade Teddy. It's a shimmery brown. Usually I will 
99.9% of the time do eyeliner last. But for this look, I want to layer up and build up that smokiness. So I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm taking the liner and I'm using it sort of sideways instead of using that sharp point, which would give me a very precise application. I'm using the side of the pencil and I'm smudging and smoking that all along that lash line and using my fingertip to just blend and kind of smush it into my lash line. I am using the point more on the lower lash line just because I want a little bit more of a precision application there. I am going to blend it out with shadows later, but I don't want to go too heavy on that lower lash line or the look will get away from me. It will go more grunge than I intend for it to. And while the look from the photo, the inspo photo, is a little bit messy and smoky and sultry, it's not so out of bounds that it's really, really grungy. So I want to make sure that I keep that lower lash line in check. Now that I laid down some of that eyeliner, I'm going to go in with a classic MAC eyeshadow. This is Wedge. And I'm putting that all over, not just the crease area, transition area, but I'm also pulling that down onto the lid as well. I want this look to be very layered and I want the shades to really blend seamlessly into one another. So I'm putting down quite a lot of this shade wedge first and whatever's left over on my brush from application into that crease area, I'm just going to start smudging onto the lower lash line, but I'm not adding any additional product to that brush just yet. I want to layer this up really, really slowly. My next shadow is Satin Taupe. This is a frost finish. So I'm packing that all over the lid, starting with the heaviest application closest to the lashes over top of that liner that I laid down initially. I'm just patting that on and then blending upwards towards where wedge was applied. And I did kind of want something a little bit sparklier. So I'm going to go in and add another shadow later, but I want to make sure that I build up that depth and get everything nice and blended. So I went back with some more of the eye coal in the shade Teddy, smudging that along the lower lash line and really concentrating more towards the outer part of my eyelid there. Then I did the same thing with my brush that I applied satin taupe with. I just used what was left to sort of tap and smudge along the lower lash line. And I also added that eye coal to my lower waterline. I just did that off camera. It's really hard to stay in frame and focus on that while not poking yourself in the eyeball. So when in doubt, focus on not poking yourself in the eyeball. That's my expert advice. Now I'm going to add some of that sparkle like I mentioned earlier. This is the Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in the shade Cosmic Charge. And this has that silvery, taupey, very, very 90s vibe. And I just needed some more shine. I think based on the photo, it's really hard to tell. The photo's grainy. It's obviously old. It's not super close up. It's not high def. But I think based on the photo that Nev Campbell's wearing a little bit of shine and shimmer on the lid. So I wanted to add that. And now I'm just going back, blending out, smoking out a little bit more. And I think that these lip colors from the MAC Trend Box are almost perfect shade wise based on the photo. I probably would have chosen something a little bit more neutral and grayish, whereas Max Powder Kiss in the shade Teddy 2.0 is a little bit more pinky. The photo of Nev looks like her lip color is a little bit more towards that beige nude and not so much the pinky nude. But, you know, I was kind of already all in on this box and I haven't tried either one of these lip products. So I thought, why not? Let's just go for it. I will say 
This Powder Kiss lipstick is fine. It's definitely that super matte look that I associate a lot with more 90s makeup. But this plumping gloss, this is one of those squirt plumping glosses. I super don't like it. It was very, very stingy and tingly. It's just not something that I personally enjoy. So I will not be <laughs> carrying on the MAC plumping gloss, but I'm really happy with how this look came out overall. I know it's not an exact dead-on match to my inspo photos, but I think it looks pretty good. It definitely has the same vibe. It has a similar sensibility, I guess. Not an exact recreation, but definitely inspired by, and it got me to try out some new techniques. I got to play with some new to my collection makeup, and I just branched out a little bit into something new. I've never done this recreating something from my Pinterest before, so I think this is a great concept for a series. Let me know how you liked it. If you are interested in seeing more videos like this, let me know what your Pinterest board inspiration looks like. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you soon in my next video. I love your face. Okay. Bye.